Hey guys, Captain Ryan here with Good Karma Sport Fishing. So I've been kind of dabbling around with this YouTube thing here and one thing with, I've just been super busy. So I just decided to do a little monthly recap here of what's been going on in July with myself, uh, with the Good Karma Rigging Cruise and some other things I got going on. So let's talk about the fishing first because everybody wants to hear about the fishing, <laughs> okay? So we have had an interesting summer. Towards the end of June, the current just started racing. So what I found was a lot of fish got moved around and it was, it's just been a really, just I would say a different summer for, for myself as far as the fishing goes down here in the Keys. So with that being said, there's a lot of fish that are in areas that they shouldn't be. It's just like they shouldn't be there. And you guys seen that there was an epic bite of uh, mutton snappers off of uh, Hillsboro and Boynton Beach. Well, that correlates to the current that was off the Bahamas, I guess. And it pushed a lot of those fish out of Bimini into the, um, the Hillsboro area, Boynton. So the guys up there had the luxury of having a Keys mutton bite, uh, which they typically don't see. And I hope they all enjoyed it, and I hope the fish can stay there for you. But, you know, fish have fins and they swim, so just know that. And so, but it's just things are not, you know, it's an El Nino year. Hell, there were orcas swimming off Key Largo, and they got them on video. Now, that's not the first time that we've had orcas in the Keys. And I remember it's about eight years ago, and maybe, maybe a little bit longer than that now, is that there were orcas off of Marathon. And I think it was um, an old captain, Jim Sharp, that used to work down there. He got them on video and got pictures of them. And I remember that as a, you know, when I was first starting out. So, guys, it's not the first time that we've had orcas swimming off the, off the, off the keys, okay? Now, they say that there's a pot of them off of, off of the Bahamas somewhere. I don't know. But anyways, uh, it's just been a weird summer. And with that being said, you know, you, you just got to go fishing. And right now with the current doing what it's doing, it's moving out there. It's honking still 2.5 miles an hour. You just go out there, do your best, have fun. And I see a lot of guys are anchoring up now on spots. And that is that is not the best thing to do in the Florida Keys on spots. Because what's happening is you have a lot of natural coral out there in the deeper water. And when guys are anchoring on those areas, they just tear that stuff apart on wrecks that are, we have a lot of old wrecks down here. Our wrecks are not meant to be anchored on. So what they do is they are disrupting the natural habitat of the reef and of the deeper, the deeper reefs, okay? Of the deeper, the deeper wrecks. Now call me a Karen <laughs> habit, but I'm seeing the difference. And I'm seeing when guys will sit on these areas and they'll destroy them. So I'm, it's just, it is what it is. So. You guys can continue doing that if you're, do, if you're watching this, but is the short term worth the long term? It's never been for me, so never. Um, should always be treating the environment with respect and it's karma. It'll come back to bite you in the ass eventually. Yes, my <laughs> business is called Good Karma Sport Fishing. And no, you know, it's just like, I do believe in karma, but you know, sometimes, it, it will come back and bite you in the ass. It has bit me in the ass a few times. Just because my name is Good Karma doesn't mean I'm like, <laughs> I'm free of anything bad happening to me because shit happens to me all the time. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Karma is a bitch. And when you're out there fishing and you got to treat other guys with respect and it'll come back to bite you. Just wait, it'll happen. So, as far as the fishing goes, I've been doing some dolphin fishing, and a lot of you guys that are just now starting to follow me don't realize is that I was an avid dolphin fisherman uh, many years ago. That's what I did. You can go back and look at images of, picture, of fish that I caught in good numbers and big fish, but with the way that the dolphin fishing has been over the past few years, and I also see, seen a change in how people were as far as what they wanted. Um, they wanted just different types of fish. So, but we're, I'm doing some dolphin fishing now and it's been really good. It's been good for me. I've been three times this year and yeah, you have to hunt for them and 
it's not it's not easy but i've caught them three times and we've caught i think i went one time and i found them late but we had to be back early i don't know i just all those days run together but um out of the three times we caught you know one 30 plus pound fish uh, a couple 20s uh and a box full of nice schoolies heavy lifters so and yeah, I'm using Satfish. I started using that last year, and I wanted to start sharing that with people. There are a lot of tricks to using Satfish, okay? And I've seen some comments on my Instagram is that it's like a dog watching a... I think there's a comment on there. It's like a dog watching TV. So it, you have to sit down every day, and you have to study that. And what happens, and then you have to learn how to use it over time. It's There's tutorials on there. And I personally like to, to, to use the one-day SST and try to get a good shot of the ocean. And remember, you have surface heating as well. So you do have a, you know, a plus or minus degree change out there. So let's say, for example, when you go out there and you're reading a satfish, and you find an edge that says it's 85 degrees and you get out there and it's 87. Well, that's that's solar heat and it's just heated up the water a little bit. So just know that. A couple days ago when I was out there dolphin fishing, we were catching them in 87 degree surface water in the afternoon. Full moon dolphin fishing, never smart to go fishing on a small moon, full moon for dolphin in the morning. Always leave later. This time of year, the fish tend to pop up later in the afternoon and they're going to be out in, you know, 1,000, 1,100 feet of water. Sometimes they'll pop up in 650, 750, 850, some decent fish. But with that being said, you know, it's fishing in the end, and you do have to hunt for these fish, and it's not automatic. And people think it's automatic now because Amazon.com. Like, you can push a button, and those dolphins will be there for you, but they're forgetting the art of hunting. They're forgetting the art of hunting. And the best fishermen I know and that I, like, respected – were hunters and they knew how to hunt and when I have a client that's antsy and like I just know that the dolphin fishing is going to be off they just don't have patience and that's not the right person to be dolphin fishing so if you guys are young charter boat captains listening to this just know that you're going to get people now that are going to be in your ear about going offshore thinking it's going to be easy because they watch some YouTube video of when those guys went fishing when it was easy okay so just know that so you're gonna to have to educate them now before you take them out which is what I do and I warn the hell out of them I tell them this is what we got going on especially with Wahoo fishing Wahoo fishing is not easy and those that think it is it's not and you see people going when it's really good but it's hard to catch them consistently over all the moons now with that being said all the moons I have right now on Good Karma Saturdays I'm educating guys on when the bite is going to happen. Yes, I know when the bites are going to happen. That's why I catch so many of them, and that's why I do. I know when, I know where, and I know why. And if you're thinking that I'm full of shit, well, I'm not. So you just have to wait and see. And there's a reason why I catch them when it's not right. And there's like, oh my God, he caught it's not a full moon. Or I had somebody message me the other day. It's like, dolphin weren't supposed to bite on a full moon. I'm like, where'd you hear that from? That's the biggest debunk myth. And that's on a lot of YouTube channels right now. So you have to get back to the basics, okay? Fish when the fish are biting, okay? And there are a ton of tricks and tips. And if you want to be on top of that bite this year, I suggest that you book a Good Karma Saturday session with me. Uh, that price starts at $300 a session. And I jam pack it with what you need for moon and tide and a ton of tips for just Wahoo. So if you're looking to really get dialed in on that, then you can message me. And as well as for you guys that want to get in on that mutton snapper thing and the, the black groupers, that's in there as well. But you just have to be specific about what you want, okay? So that's part of Good Karma Saturdays. Um, now... Also, too, I want to you know, welcome the new guys to the Good Karma Rigging Crews. Uh, rigging Crew 1, we've got some new members this month, and we're digging into um, some things. A lot of things I don't want to talk about because, you know, you have to be in the group. That's, it's, it's to their, you know, it's why they're there. So 
the goal on each group is that they leave with a piece of knowledge that I've gained or something, a trick that's going to catch them a lot of fish. And I want to give a shout out to one of the Good Karma Rigging crew members, Jerome, with an awesome, awesome 50 plus pound Wahoo that he caught up off of Hillsboro, uh, Boynton Beach on this full moon. Big fish on a planer. A few years ago, Jerome was really starting to learn how to use the planers and he's caught a few Wahoo now over the just within the past year. So it's things are starting to click for him and it's just awesome to see and just badass. So um, the bite right now, like I said, in the evenings, like you got the yellowtail thing going on. Now I do know that the yellowtails are biting in the morning now and the guys that are using my chum mix that I have for sale in my courses are crushing them. For 15 to 16 inch yellowtails, all legal fish, 70 to 100 foot of water. And that seems to be what's working and getting them to go is my chum mix. And, and I got a couple emails from somebody can, you know, saying, hey, you know, thank you so much for the, that course. So that's available in the, in the Good Karma courses as well. Uh, I've got the big reef course there. And then um, the fish and spots course. Everybody wants to know where you're catching the muttons and how I did it. It's all outlined in there. I tell you one specific thing that's going to help you, and I show you how I do it. And I'm like still doing it because things are changing. Fish have fins, they swim. So things change all the time. I have to learn how to change with it and adapt. Uh, trying to think what else for you guys. Oh, as far as what's coming up. Uh, deep dropping, uh, I know that there's going to be some queen snappers on the 408 hump, 409 hump here soon. Uh, just get your deep drop stuff ready to go. And I want to talk a little bit about what I do as far as uh, measuring leaders, okay? One thing I have, one, my, one tip I have, one fishing tip I have for you is the, the, the Rapala measure counter. And I have this in my, um, I'll put the link in the in my show notes for this, and it's an awesome tool to measure your leaders out. Guys, uh, I think that's all I got. Oh, and I almost forgot, like, the, the peak of this month was the Ryan Mori video. And it's an amazing video, and I tried to show, um, I showed you guys a few little tips in there, and you got to watch really close and listen, because I'm always good at dropping, the, dropping those little nuggets in there and about what I'm doing. Because it's, it's like a treasure hunt. And that's the way fishing shows were for me when I was growing up. So I, I do my part of like leaving a few little, few little nuggets in there for you guys that follow. So go to Ryan Mori's channel and check it out. Awesome video. And yeah, that's all I got. So thank you guys for um, watching the video. Now if I get more like comments and some stuff I, I will continue doing more frequent videos but until then you know I just want to it's going to be a couple maybe maybe every couple weeks once a month but if I do see that there's more comments and more followers then I'm going to start doing some more stuff for you guys so yeah that's how it works thank you guys and remember anytime you're fishing it's all good